I love Ethereum, I love Cardano, I love Polkadot, I love Solano, I love so many altcoins. But if you want to make money in this crypto market, you need to pay attention to the Bitcoin because it drives the market, at least as of now. And so that's why I make this content called Crypto Weekly, where I provide you with some news around the cryptocurrency space and I also provide you with some technical analysis around the Bitcoin. Because once you know what Bitcoin is going to do, then you have an idea of what your altcoins are going to do. So if you think that's interesting, there are three things you're going to do for me. Subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell, and then let's dive in. Alright guys, so um, welcome to another edition of Daily Crypto with Paul. Um, it's kind of dark over here, but I have to bring you this content. You know how we'll do it now. So I'll try to be very, very brief. Just pick a news from each news provider, then we'll look at the charts. Okay. So from Coindesk, the major news we have here is, is that the challenge the Ethereum dev are having. Okay, Ethereum developers are having one challenge with one of their protocols, which is GET, G-E-T-H. Okay, so they have some challenges and they are really trying to work around it. Okay, and one of the things about, like, I like about Ethereum is when there are challenges, they make it known. And because they make it known, they have like a target which they have to get it fixed because the public is looking at them. And this is one of the things that make Ethereum very, very reliable. It is very rare for you to see Ethereum have been challenges, but when they have challenges, they come out and they make it known. Okay, so it's super amazing. There are a lot of other projects, they have challenges, they won't make it known until something terrible now happens and everybody on the protocol loses. But Ethereum, once it's a challenge, they come out to say it and they really work on it. So it's super amazing and I really trust these smart guys will get it fixed. So from Coin Telegraph, yes, from Coin Telegraph, the, I mean, one of the biggest news we have here is that Binance cuts withdrawal limits and rolls out tax reporting tool. Okay, of course, Binance has been under a lot of challenges. I mean, under a lot of regulation. People are looking at closing them down. And these guys are in business. Are they going to close down? So they are really trying to, I mean, get a meeting point with the government. And the first thing they are doing is to re re cut withdrawal limits. Okay, I think this news is very important for everybody. It means there's a limit to the amount you can withdraw in a day on Binance currently. Especially for those of you that have not done your KYC, you've not put your um, national identity card and the rest. This is very, very important and you really need to pay attention to this particular news. I think the limit now is about 0 0.06 Bitcoin in a day. But I think they have other limits for other people. And they'll be really now more limits starting from August. They're also bringing out a tax reporting tool to report task. So I don't really know how they're going to do this, but it's very crazy. But again, one might be wondering, how can one really escape the government? Because the government is really going after all these exchanges heavily. Okay? So the way to really escape them is to have your own personal wallet. So add wallet. Okay? Because they are add wallets. Remember, there is a soft wallet. Soft wallets are all these ones we have on software. They also add wallets. More like a flash drive, but for storing cryptocurrencies. Once you have your crypto, crypto in those form, nobody can come and do anything. But because Binance is like an exchange, and a lot of people have get their cryptocurrencies on Binance, and the government knows Binance. So if they don't want to do anything, they go to Binance and try to oppress. So you get and Binance has to comply in a way to keep in business. So Binance is putting out all these laws, which is just not trying to suffer the users, but just trying to also get to a meeting point with the government. All right, let's look at the um, another news from Bitcoin.com. It says South Korea proposes law allowing direct seizure and scale of crypto assets to pay overdue taxes. Okay, basically, people that we don't pay tax now in South Korea, South Korea is proposing a law which means they can seize their cryptocurrency assets. Of course, this is only going to be possible if your cryptocurrency asset is on a, is on a software, something on a software of a known company like Trust Wallet or like Binance or all those things. But if your coin is in a hard flash drive or something, I mean, the hard wallet, nobody can come and seize your crypto. They can't tamper with it. But if it's on a soft wallet, then things like Binance, Trust Wallet, and all those other things, then according to this law in South Korea, they can track you even down to your tax. So if you are evading tax, then they, they go to some of these exchanges, try to track you and seize all your assets and in fact sell them. So this is very, very crazy. And we can see more and more regulations coming on cryptocurrencies because the government is really feeling people are escaping through cryptocurrencies. Okay. All right, so then let's look at the other news we have from crypto.com news before we go down to the uh, charts. 
and like crypto.com news is saying bankers rush to fix cross-border payment as crypto competition ought up okay so basically i mean the bank is trying to fix cross-border then transfer of course you know one of the advantages cryptocurrencies have over normal bank is this cross-border thing i want to send money to someone in china now there's a lot of you have to do exchange it takes a process but with bitcoin i mean less than 10 minutes your money is going to china so there's a very big competition there so they, like they're saying now that bankers are not rushing to fix this problem because they know this is one of the big advantages cryptocurrencies have over them we did solve this problem the idea and the answer is they can't solve it unless they go to the blockchain digitally they can solve it to some extent but it's still not going to be efficient and that's why most of them are really bringing out their own digital currency in the end that is where they will end up i most likely believe so that's it for the news today let's just go quickly to the charts let's see what um the charts are saying all right all right so welcome to the bitcoin chart and we can basically see this is super amazing bitcoin is really trying to break out of this region but of course we've not broken above 41k yet so we can't really say we are going to break out to the upside okay so it's only when we get above 41k and we stay there okay we can stay there a day or two that's when we can be very very sure that this guy is going to the upside now i really want to sound a very clear warning to people okay a lot of people are saying the bull run is back a lot of people are rushing into putting their money into this thing the sign that the bull run is back is not yet clear for me i really want to see bitcoin get to 47 48k 50k and then start going down back i mean this is what is expected to happen there are a lot of other blocks look at this region this i think 49k region so there's an other block there and Bitcoin is perhaps coming to take out that other, that other, going to tap the other block and come down back. So people are saying Bruno is back, people are going to put in their life savings in on this. You have to be very, very careful and that is why something like this channel will be very useful for you. Okay, so just be very, very calm, be very, very chill and just stay guided. Okay, for now the Bitcoin really seems to be doing its best to break above 41k and the chances that we break above 41k is very high. After 41k, we really want to see it gets to like 47, 48, 49, 50k okay if you break above that level and we stay above that level also for a day or two then we really know man this guy can be back in the bull run but don't go and put in your life savings on this now because this is not gonna i mean it's not a wise thing to do so the idea is just to keep buying little by little i was selling us when we break above 35k we're going to buy some and thank god some of you did if you break above 41k and we stay a day or two above it then we really know we have really broken above it we're going to buy some at 47k again we really observe what's gonna what's gonna happen because this guy perhaps is just coming to take out the other block and going back down to something like 20k or so so you really very, you have to be very very careful 45 46 47 48 49 50k region that 45k to 50k region is a very big i mean bitcoin breaking below above that region we really sure that we are back in the bulls but there's no clear sign that we are back in the bulls so you're gonna start getting your life savings and putting every single thing on this and that's basically why this channel is here to guide you all right so that's it for the bitcoin and you can see some of the other coins we called have started really doing well some of them are still waiting because the bitcoin has not finished moving so if bitcoin breaks above 41k and goes to 47k some of those other coins will really really do well so it's quite amazing and congrats to those of you that have gotten if you've not gotten any of these assets be patient be patient there's no need to really rush your money that in your hand is better than money that is not there yet and that you are going to lose so just be very very patient and let's really see what the bitcoin is going to do okay so i think basically that's what i have to say for the news today i don't want to talk too much it's dark in here and um guys so that's basically it. i will actually end like this because it's very dark so i can't do the other video i usually do so i just want to say thank you for all the support thank you for i mean always coming out there to support me thank you for the likes even though they are not coming so much but i'm really grateful thank you for some of the some of you that have commented if there are things you think i need to work on to improve the content also do it let me know thank you thank you guys and see you tomorrow bye bye